All right, Colin. Uh, man, crazy match. A lot of points on the board. Um, you know, you get some revenge on Farr, who's, who's beaten you twice this year. But you've closed the gap, and then now you, you get over the top. Uh, talk about the process of challenging him, you know, um, closing the gap and then getting over it, and then talk about the match as well. Yeah, well, he's a really good wrestler, and uh, he does some really tricky stuff. Really good scrambler. So uh, I've been working on my finishes since I got to college, and they're still not there yet. Um, so just getting over that, and it made me really uh, challenge myself to get better in that position. And um, I didn't really change a lot from when I wrestled the first time. Just my energy level, uh, how hard I fought him back, and stuff like that. So yeah, just excited to win. Talk through that first kind of flurry. You get in on that high cross, she jumps over the top, and then you kind of almost like dropped your hips back down to the legs, and then you came back up to the head. I mean, it was kind of like, but you adjusted almost, like it was almost like you were a step ahead of him in, in every way you wanted to scramble. Yeah, um, I just work in high crotch finishes a lot, and guys put me in that position. So after a while, you're doing enough reps, it just becomes a, a little bit of muscle memory. And I think the work showed right there, and uh, it's happy it worked out in my favor, so. Yeah. I mean, um, talk about, Coming in here as a freshman, you know, maybe at the beginning of the season you don't have the highest expectations like you're going to win a Big Ten title. You come out, you put in the work, and you get it done. I mean, what does that mean to you? Um, it just validates my hard work over the past two years. I uh, put in a lot of time with Kyle, Miles, all the upper weights at Ohio State, which are pretty good. Yeah, they're not um, <laughs> And just the, I was at the training center a lot of the summer, so I just had a lot of awesome opportunities to get better and I took advantage of them and I think this this shows that I put in the, the time and the effort. Hey Colin, looking back, where along the way during the season did, did it maybe click in that, that you could win a Big Ten championship and contend for a national championship? Yeah, well in Vegas, Far beat me pretty bad and uh, it kind of clicked in for me that I got to gotta step it up. And then against Cox, I wrestled him really tough. So I think right there I was like, I'm good enough to, to at least hang with these guys and maybe beat them. So I think as the season went on, I got more confidence, and that, that helped a lot, especially here. What's the, what's the key to your high motor, high pace? I mean, you seem to, no matter what's going on in the match, you're offensive, you're firing. Where does that come from? Uh, doing it in practice, uh, especially wrestling Kyle. and. The, like I said, all those guys, they they like to shoot and score a, a lot of points. So to keep up with them and not get your butt kicked at practice, uh, you got to step it up to their game. So I think doing it practice enough, again, just translate out here. First NCAA tournament in a couple, I mean, in 10 days here. I mean, a lot of the guys you're around have been there and have won there and over and over again. What's that like kind of being the young gun? Or, and how are you going to feed off those guys? Or, what are you going to ask those guys to be kind of get ready to go for St. Louis? Um, again, I think they all do a really great job leading by example. So Nate, Bo, Miles, Kyle, they've all been there before in the finals and semis and stuff like that. So I think if I just follow them and uh, stick to what they're doing, um, I should have no problems.